Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Naval Dreadnoughts and Division 4 of the World War II Battleship League. And today it is Strasbourg against Renown, uh, which should prove very interesting. Uh, I think I will yeah, need to fix up Renown quickly. Uh, by the way, I uh, I was looking around um, and thinking about things, but uh, there is a way of getting these even. Uh, if you pop them on kind of like... Oh, no, I thought that was. Oh, never mind. There we go. If you do it that way around, you can kind of get them even. Um, but uh, the, the funnel structures are the wrong way around. Um, oh, shoot. Just tick off. It was a uh, two-inch cut. There we go. Okay. Um, offset the two ships with the biggest offset. <laughs> Let's go. So I'm starting off with Strasbourg. Um, because I reckon this will be the one where it's hardest to get an engage. Um, Renown with the superior speed might be able to get away. But um, we'll be able to close this pretty fast. Um, again, I, I'm not sure what order people will be watching these in. I'm not even sure what order I'm going to be uploading them in. But uh, quite a few of the battles have settled into this kind of stern chase scenario. Um, which... You know, is uh, realistic, but that's why I, when I'm controlling the ships, uh, I, I'm trying to get in close uh, and actually get a kill in. Um, the uh, AI versus AI rounds um, are uh, perfect examples of both neither ship wanting to get close. <coughs> <coughs> so, if I can avoid doing them, I will. But it's not always possible, and yeah, Renown kind of staying at a reasonable angle. Six guns to our eight at the moment, but uh, no hits from either ship. Closing, yeah, it's still very far away. And what I reckon will happen, because Renown is the faster of the two, this will just continue for some time. Um, whoever wins Division 4, by the way, uh, will get a rebuilt <laughs> for um, going into Division 3. Uh, because by the time we get around to recording Division 3... Oh, that was a good hit, actually. By the time we get around to recording Division 3, uh, we... <laughs> <laughs> we will be on uh, the new version. 
which will have a lot of a lot of uh, other things that we'll need to uh, take into account. So, um, what <laughs> exactly the type of AP shell was, um, what the HE shells were, the proportion between the two, the draft and beam. Um, adjustment and and things like that so um yeah who, whoever the winner of division four is will get a rebuild for when they join division three yeah i'm gonna pause the recording here uh, i will keep playing and uh, i will be back if and when we get any serious action Although, I think, yeah, oh, there we go. Brown is starting to turn just now, actually. Well, that's nice. She'll probably turn and then turn away. Just going to do a bit of a wiggle. Yeah, she's just doing a wiggle. Extreme range. She's only firing a rear turret, so yeah, we are uh, we are in um, a chase situation, which Strasbourg is usually quite good at. Um, but you know, Green does have a very slight speed advantage, so um, yeah, I'll come back if and when. There is some action. All right, welcome back. And um, yeah, uh, Strasbourg not being able to land a hit on Renown that slowed her down and has expended all our ammunition doing so. So a draw in round one. Right, uh, let us swap over and I will play Renown. And hopefully with the speed advantage, um, we'll be able to get an actual engagement between the two. And then we shall see what is what. Now, again, <laughs> we're just going, no, Renown shouldn't try and close in. And we, we already know what happens. So if Renown stays away, it ends in a draw. Um, and she can keep Strasbourg away if Strasbourg is the one attempting to close. But what if Renown is the one trying to close in and kill off Strasbourg? That's. I'm always playing it as if, um, ooh, really nice hit early on from Renown. I'm always uh, trying to play it as if uh, I am trying to actually sink the enemy. To. Still coming in? Still coming in. Good, good. early hit though. Not too much going on. Strasbourg still heading in? Yeah, good. Come on. Come on, AI. Let's have an actual fight. Actually up to about 8.4%. Once it gets above 10, we'll start seeing uh, hits on a more regular basis. Oh, 
partial pen, but not very much. There you go, an actual hit on running. Strasbourg kinda sailing away a little bit. Planning hit, not bad. Those 15s, of course, are the biggest guns. 177 damage, that's pretty good. The biggest guns in the division. It's a flooding hit, though. More damage and flooding on Strasbourg. He's having trouble landing hits in return. Uh, Renown definitely the more accurate of the two. Those quad guns uh, have a bit of a penalty in uh, ultimate normal terms. And straps were moving away. Alright, we'll move to chase immediately. Uh, she is slowed down, Strasbourg. But uh, that does not mean Renown has won this because. Um, she's been in this situation before, and Renown is a bit of an unlucky ship <laughs> so far in the competition. Let's see if we can't force Strasbourg to actually engage us. Turning to do something. No, just doing a wiggle. Renown takes an engine hit, though. And loses a captain <laughs> as the conning tower gets hit. Strasbourg, though. Engine failure, complete engine failure, means she really can't escape. So I think we are going to get. An extra showdown. Try and get all the guns firing. There we go. Oof. With a lot of flooding. And a lot of damage as well. She's uh, really struggling here, actually. My word! I didn't get very quickly, but oh my goodness! <laughs> I did say Renown was an unlucky ship. Oh my goodness! Um, right at the end, <laughs> and this has happened twice, by the way. Renown takes a catastrophic hit. Absolutely catastrophic. That ammo detonation, I think, did about 3,000 damage. Um, I think it hit roughly here. Uh, it must have cooked off the x turret magazine uh, all at once and uh, just completely obliterated the ship. Um, so, <laughs> victory in round two goes to the Strasbourg, which is frankly amazing. Um... <laughs> Renown, you, you're just such an unlucky ship. I'm going to put it on AI control. Um, so everyone who complained about, oh, why did you close in? The AI is now going to...
fate away from Strasbourg, almost certainly, in a repeat of round one. Uh, so this is almost certainly going to be a draw. Uh, I will let it play out, um, but I will return once we have a result in round three. Now, all right, welcome back after, well, quite a while. <laughs> uh, about an hour and a half. Um, of these two shooting each other, Strasbourg's given up. Uh, she does have some ammunition left, but she's gone on save. Renown's plinking away two rounds at a time, but I'm prepared to call that a draw in round three, and therefore Strasbourg wins uh, with <laughs> that rather spectacular knockout in um, the second round. Ah, oh, Renown, you, I love you, but um, you are an unlucky ship. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this uh, matchup. And I hope to see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.